Hey everyone, Mr. Voigtman here. This is lesson 2.8 and 2.9. We're going to be looking at rates and the applications of rates. So what are rates? Well, rates are a comparison of two quantities. Okay, so in this case, the first example, we have calories per serving. The two quantities are calories and serving. So what we're looking for is a number of calories per one serving. So we always want to get it down to a one serving or in the, the second example, the number of kilometers per one kilometer. Now, we usually don't write down the one in front of that because it's just understood that it is one kilometer. So in steps per day, we're looking for the number of steps per day. Okay, and with button presses per hour, it would be button presses per hour and the number of button presses can be whatever. And again, cost per gram. Uh, they would have to give you some units here, so let's just say we're going to go cost in dollars per gram, then it would be uh, dollars per gram. Okay, so we're going to move just to the next screen below here, and we're going to uh, go through some quick examples. So if I have 600 calories for five servings, that's not what I'm looking for. I know I have 600 calories, uh, but I'm not looking for five servings. What am I looking for? I want to know for every one serving. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide the five into the 600, and we're going to end up getting, uh, it goes in here one time with five, goes into here two times, and goes into their zero. So I have 120 calories. So our answer is going to be 120 calories per serving. And again, I don't need to write per one serving. Okay, the second example uh, would be somebody drove 720 kilometers and it took nine hours. So again, what are we going to do? We're going to divide the nine into the 720 and we're going to end up getting 9 goes into 72 8 times to be 72 I get 0 left over so it doesn't go in there so it's going to end up being 80 so the answer is going to be 80 kilometers per hour okay now let's move on to the third example which is the number of steps uh, per day and they've given us uh, a large number like 225,000 steps, but that took 30 days. We don't want to know how long it took 30 days, so I'm just going to divide the 30 into 225,000, and we're going to calculate that out. Okay, so 30 goes into 225 uh, probably seven times. Okay, so uh, seven times 30 is going to be 210. That leaves us with 15 left over. Uh, bring down the zero, and now step 30 goes into 150 five times. And it's important that I'm sort of stacking these numbers right here, right? So that I don't miss out on a number of zeros that I need to have after the 75. So 30 times five is 150, so we're at zero right now. So basically I just need to add one, two more zeros on top of those two zeros right there. So our rate of stepping per day is going to be um, 7,500 steps per day. Okay, and this example right here uh, states that we've got 100 button presses in one minute. Now, uh, if you remember from up top here, we were talking about uh, button presses per second. So we're going to want to, to put it in that, uh, that form for this example. So I don't want button presses per minute. I want button, the number of button presses per second. 
So we just have to analyze this a little bit. I know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So that's an easy conversion. So I'm no longer dealing with that minute. Now we have similar units. So all I'm gonna do is divide the 60 into the 180, which goes in there three times. So I know my rate of button presses is gonna be three button presses per second. It's that easy. Okay, so now that we understand what a rate is, um, it's nice when the units that they give you are the same as the units that they want in their answer. But that's not always the case. So sometimes we have mixed units uh, from one to the other. So we have to know how to convert these units with a ratio or a rate in this case. So if we look at this number, and this is very important that you learn this, it's gonna be uh, used quite a bit through science uh, in all your years of education. So if I write this out, it's gonna be 12 kilometers per hour. So I created a ratio and I'm always just gonna multiply by another ratio and I'm looking at what I want to have here. So I want meters per hour. So I want meters to be up top, okay? And I want the hours to stay on the bottom. So I've already got hours down here. So I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm gonna deal with converting these kilometers right here into the meters. So what we always wanna do is put the units that we have on the bottom, in this case are opposite because the kilometers are on the top, I want it now to be on the bottom, okay? And I just want to set up the ratio that I have here. So what do I know? I know that one kilometer is 1,000 meters. So all I have to do right now is cancel out these units. So kilometers on the bottom cancels the kilometers on the top. So what does that leave me with units? Meters on the top, hours on the bottom. And that is what I want right there. So now I literally just need to multiply this through and include my units. So 12 times 1,000 is going to equal 12 with one, two, three zeros, so 12,000. And what are my units? Meters that are right here and per hour right there. So it's gonna be meters per hour. Okay, so uh, this takes a lot of practice, just doing this over and over and over again. And there's tons of worksheets you can find on the internet uh, converting these units when they're in a ratio or a rate like this. So what if I want $80 per gram converted to dollars per kilogram? So which is the one I'm going to be changing? I'm going to be changing grams to kilograms. So again, I'm gonna do it the exact way I did, just did up top. I'm gonna to write out what I have, $80 per gram. I'm gonna multiply it by a ratio. What am I changing? The grams. So because grams are on the bottom here, I wanna put grams up top. I always want them opposite on the new ratio, okay? So what am I going to? Kilograms. So in this case, Really, all right away, the grams are going to cancel the grams. And what do I know about this ratio of grams to kilograms? I know that one kilogram is 1,000 grams. So now I'm left with the units that I want, kilograms and dollars, so dollars per kilogram. Now I just need to do the math. 80 times 1,000, 8 times 1 is 8. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, so I'm just going to add those four zeros there and don't forget my units it's going to be uh, dollars which usually goes in front here per kilogram okay so like i said repetition is necessary and key here so we're going to move on to the next one what do we have 500 meters per minute Okay, so, and we're going to meters per second. So meters is the same, it's the time on the bottom that we're going to change. So what do we do? We write it out, 500 meters per minute times another ratio. Okay, so I'm changing the minutes. 
So and the minutes are on the bottom to begin with, so I want to write them up top. And whatever I'm moving to, the seconds, I would put on the bottom. Okay, so what do I know about the uh, values that I would fill in for the ratio between minutes and seconds? I know that one minute is 60 seconds. Okay, so what happens with the units? Well, minutes cancel the minutes. And what am I left with? Meters per second. Now I just have to do what is stated here, which is 500 times one, that's on the top. So that's gonna end up being 500 over 60. And that's gonna be 500 divided by 60. So I just need to do that division right here. So we're gonna take 60, put it into 500, and it's gonna go in there, uh, decimals right there. It won't go into 50, it will go into 500 eight times, which is gonna be 480. So we're going to have 20 left over. We're going to bring down the zero to go into 200. It's going to go in there three times to be 180. And I'm left with 20 again, bring down the zero. So you can see it's starting to repeat. So it's going to be 8.33 repeating. Okay, so that is going to be my answer, which is going to be 8.3 repeating. And what are my units? Meters per second. Okay, so we're going to go to the last one right here and it's a little bit uh, more work and this would be one of those higher level questions that we are going to have on our test. Um, so if you look right here, what do I have? 60 kilometers per hour going to meters per second. So kilometers is changing to meters and hours is changing to seconds. But I'm going to just do this the same way I've done up above, except in two steps. So I'm going to start with what I have, 60 kilometers per hour. I'm going to multiply it by another ratio, and I'm just going to choose one of them. So in this case, I will choose the kilometers to meters. Okay, so if kilometers is on the top to begin with, we're going to put it on the bottom and whatever I'm changing to will go in the other spot, which is meters. What do I know about this ratio? I know that one kilometer is 1,000 meters. Okay, so I've already done that conversion right there. I just haven't finished the math, but I've set it up so I can convert that. Now what do I need to convert? Hours to seconds. So I'm just gonna multiply by another ratio right here. Where are the hours? They're right down here on the bottom. So that means I'm going to put them on the next ratio up top. And what are we going to? Uh, we're going to seconds. Now, if we don't quite know how many seconds are in an hour, uh, we sort of do know how many minutes are in the hour. So I know one hour is 60 minutes. Okay, but let's start canceling some units. So kilometers on the bottom will cancel the kilometers on the top. Okay. Hours on the bottom, we'll cancel this hours on the top. And what are we left with right now? We have meters. So right here is meters per minute. But what are we trying to get to? Meters per second. So I'm going to have to do even one more. So you can see we can string these things right out. Again, another ratio. Minutes is the one I want to get rid of, and I want it to go to seconds. So because minutes is on the bottom, I'm going to put minutes on the top. Okay, seconds will go on the bottom. And now I'm going to make this uh, set up my ratio. So I know that one minute is 60 seconds. And I know that my minutes will cancel minutes. And now I'm down to the uh, units that I want. I've got meters per second right there. Now I'm just going to have to reduce this down in size and move it up a little bit. Give myself a little bit of space so that we can rewrite this one right here. So if I look at what's on top, okay, I'm just gonna go 60 times 1,000 times one times one. That's what's on the top. And on the bottom, it's going to be, there was a one in front of this hour, so it's gonna be one times one times 60 times 60. 
So what you'll do here is do that work first on the top, and then you'll do this work on the bottom. Remember that multiplying by one doesn't change anything, so we'll just get rid of those ones. Now on the top, it's 60 times 1,000. So six times one is gonna equal six. And then how many zeros are there? One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna add one, two, three, four zeros right there. And on the bottom, I've got six times six, which is 36. And how many zeros are there? One, two. So I'm gonna add those two zeros right there. Okay, I'll just move this over a little bit. Okay, at this point, I've got a big, huge fraction and big numbers to work with, but all those zeros mean I can just cancel one from the top, one from the bottom, one from the top, one from the bottom. Okay, and now I can, I've got 600 divided by 36, but I can also see that six can divide into 600 100 times. So I'll divide the top by six, I get 100. I divide 36 by six, and I get six. And I can see that both of those can be divided by two. So if I divide it by two, I get end up with 50 over three. Now, this is what we sort of have right now, which is 50 over three. And the units that we have are 50 meters per three seconds. But again, remember, we don't want this in meters per second. So I'm gonna divide the three into the 50. So when I divide 50 by three, I'm gonna get 16.6 repeating, okay? Sorry, I'm running out of space here, but what we're gonna end up with is 16.6 repeating meters per second. Okay, that one is definitely way more complex than we need to know at this level, but I thought I would throw it in there just to challenge you a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna move on to sort of applying these um, concepts uh, for everyday examples, and usually that's gonna come in the form of a word problem. So let's look at example number one. A car drove 240 kilometers in four hours. What is the average speed of the car? So we just need to know that speed comes in uh, the distance per time. Okay, so speed is uh, a quantity that is distance per time. Okay, so if I look at it right now, it is 240 kilometers per four hours. And again, although that's correct, that's not the format that we want it in. We want it in a per hour format. So again, we divide the four into our 240, which is gonna go into here six times to be 24, and we're left with 60 right there. So the, the car was driving, so the car speed is 60 kilometers per hour. Okay, so this is a very common word problem. We have this boy named Jimmy and he worked for a total of eight hours. At the end of the day, his boss gave him $128. What is Jimmy's hourly wage? So the word wage just basically means how much he gets paid per hour. So that's what we're looking for here. Uh, this should be fairly simple for you, so I'm just going to pause the video, or you're going to pause the video and do the work, and turn the video back on, and check your work and your answer with mine. Okay, so if uh, Jimmy worked for eight hours and got paid 128, we're just going to take the number 128 and divide it by the eight. So eight goes into 12 one time with four left over, carry down the eight, that goes into their 16 or six times, which will end up being the 48. I have nothing left over and no more spaces. So the answer is 16. Uh, but again, we need to answer this properly. So Jimmy's hourly rate is 
16, don't forget the units, dollars per hour. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with question three and four, where I'm going to introduce the question to you, then you'll pause the video, do the work, and see how well you do. And if you get it right, awesome. If you get it wrong, try to figure out where you went wrong and uh, fix it up. Okay, so we have a fuel barge that's filling a fuel tank at a refinery. So although you may not know what a fuel barge is, or you may not know what a refinery is, it doesn't really matter. Basically, something is happening and it's taking some time. Okay, so what's the time that it took? It took four hours and 20 minutes. Okay, so you've got to be careful with time because we have uh, two different uh, units here. We've got hours and we've got minutes, but you know that every hour has 60 minutes. So you can easily convert this to uh, minutes. Okay, uh, and in that time, they filled this tank with um, 390,000 liters. And now they're asking us, what is the rate? So what is this rate? And they're gonna tell us what units we wanted in. We want it in liters per minute. Okay, so pause the video, do the work, and come on back. Okay, so like I said, if we want our units to be in uh, liters per minute, uh, the liters is fine because we've got uh, our quantity in units, or, or sorry, in liters to begin with but our time is in hours and minutes. So I'm gonna take the four hours and I'm going to multiply that by the 60 minutes that are in every one hour. And essentially the hours cancel and we're just left with four times 60, which gives us 240. And here's our units right here, minutes. Okay, now don't forget we have this other 20 minutes right there. So I need to add in those 20 minutes, so I now have 260 minutes. So what I need to do now is, again, like we've been doing with every other question, I need to divide this, I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller, uh, 260, I need to divide that into the 390123. And be careful when uh, copying down a large number like that uh, somewhere else, because it's easy to make a mistake, especially leaving or omitting uh, a zero from the uh, copied work or even adding another one in there. So 260 can go into here one time, and that's gonna be 260, leaving me with 130 right here. And then I've got to bring down that zero, okay? And I now have 1300. So I believe that should be able to go in there five or six times. So we'll start off with five. So I'll go 260 times five. Uh, five times zero is zero. Five times uh, six is 30, carry it for three. Five times two is 10, plus the three is 1300. So it is uh, the 1300 is, or 260 does go in there five times. And now we're down to zero. So essentially, I'm gonna be bringing these down twice and 260 will go into zero, zero times. So just again, like I said before, make sure that you're lined up here. So I need two more zeros right there. So now what is the answer going to be? Well, I really wanna take a look back to where I was right here. It needs to be in liters per minute, okay? And I did convert everything to minutes. So 260 was minutes and the 390,000 were liters. So we're all good. Uh, so the rate of offloading is 1,500 liters per minute. Okay, now it's important that you sort of leave a word response here because if you just say 1,500 liters per minute, although the the value is correct and the units are correct, what took 
1,500 liters per minute. You would never just walk up to somebody and say 1,500 liters per minute because they would have no clue what you're talking about. But if you said the rate of offloading the barge into the refinery was 1,500 liters per minute, now it actually makes sense. Okay, let's move on to the last question. We got a girl named Sally and she is putting together or assembling uh, 40 gearboxes. And every time she puts one together, she gets paid. So she gets paid 30 renminbi per assembled gearbox. So at the end of the day, she or doesn't say the day, it actually says right here, if we read a bit further, uh, how long it took her. But right now I know that she put 40 together and she gets paid 30 per item that she's put together. Okay, so if we look at uh, this, we just need to multiply this together. And so four times three is 12, and then we're gonna add in these two zeros. So she got paid 1,200 RMB. Okay, now how long did it take her to do this? So it says right here that it took 16 hours. So essentially, the ratio that we have right now is not in proper format because it's stating that we have 1200 RMB per 16 hours. And we don't want a per 16 hours, we want a per hour. Now we always wanna to go to the uh, final sort of sentence in the word problem. It's usually telling us what we need to calculate and in what uh, units we want to represent our answer. So what does it say? What is her hourly rate of pay? So when it says an hourly rate of pay, it, it is asking how much she is making per hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that 1600, or sorry, the 16 into the 1200. The decimals right there. 16 does not go into uh, 12 and 16 times I would almost have to guess how many times can 16 go into uh, 120 a good guess might be 16 times 7 uh, so we would just do that over to the side 16 times 7 is 42 4 1 1 2 uh, can I add another 16 to that that would be 128, no, that's too much, so the answer is gonna be seven. So it goes into here seven times with 112. I'm gonna sub subtract and I bring down the zero, I have 80. So how many times can 16 go into 80? Uh, now, we can see that 80 ends in a zero. Uh, five times six right here is 30. Uh, so that will end in a zero as well. So it's most likely going to be five. We'll just try it out here. 16 times five is 30, carry the three. Five uh, plus three is 180. So it is 70, oops, it's 75. And that finishes that. So what does that mean? It means that Sally uh, gets paid 75 RMB per hour, okay? And that question is done. Okay, that's the end of the lesson and we'll see you in class.